Hi everyone, my name is Sanchia and I'm a Lululemon ambassador and today I am bringing to you how to do Utkatasana chair pose, also known as fierce pose. Now, the fierce thing I like about this pose is how much fire and energy you get between the thighs and how strong I feel after. You don't need much for the practice. In fact, if you've got a yoga mat, that'd be great because we're gonna move through a little warm up and I want you to be comfortable. The little warm up at the beginning is just to bring some life and energy to the body and bring a little bit of awareness to some of the parts of the body that we're gonna to need to activate when we get into our chair pose. Let's first come into all fours so we can move through some cat cows and just get our foundations set. So on all fours, the hands are about shoulder distance apart. The shoulders are on top of the wrists. The legs are about hip distance apart with the hips hovering above the knees. Feel free to give yourself some wriggles. Feel free to just find a little bit of movement through the spine and just so you can find neutral and you can find your foundations. And then as we start to take a long deep breath in, we're gonna let the belly drop towards the floor, let your sit bones lift up and let the collarbones go wide. Exhaling the breath, bring the chin towards the chest, round and dome as you tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, start to move through that neutral position, let the belly fall towards the floor, let your shoulders slide back. Exhaling, rounding and doming, chin on the chest, navel to spine, making this round shape through your body. Two more, exactly the same, inhaling. Letting the sit bones, letting the tailbone lift. Exhaling, plunging your hands through the ground, making this round back. Last one, inhale. And together, exhale. Then find yourself in a neutral position like we started. As we move through our cat cows, we get to really see and exaggerate our anterior and posterior tilt. So you get to feel what it's like to go to our extremes. What we're looking for is to meet somewhere in the middle. So let's work on that now. Tuck the toes under, take the hands a step forwards, lift the hips up and back and come into your downward facing dog. Let's pedal out the feet. So bend one knee deeply, straighten the other leg and just let the hips move. You can look under the armpits if that feels good. Let's take another breath here together. Inhale and exhale. You can have a soft knee here if you want, but let's bring some awareness to our rib cage. So have a little look at your belly button and your ribs. And see if your ribs are flared out. Let's see if you can draw them in. And this is what's going to be really useful for when we come to chair. Lift your heels, bend your knees and start to take a little step forwards, coming into your forward fold. Let the head relax, let the arms dangle, some yeses and some noes. Take a full breath in and a big sigh out. From there, slowly roll up through the spine, take the hands up the front of the legs and just arrive at the front of your mat, palms face forwards. So we talked a little bit about exaggerating our anterior and posterior tilt and what this might look like for the pose. So let's get into it right now. So we're gonna do two versions of Utkatasana. First one with our big toes together and a little gap between the heels. So take that position now. And then take the hands onto the hips, just the outside of it. So let's really exaggerate. If we stick our bum out, and let our ribs flare out. We've got this position here and I can feel a lot of loading into my lower back. If we go the other way, it almost feels constricted in the front of my body and I've got this rounding and I've also got a little bit of clenching in the bum too. What would the easy medium look like? What would in between those two states look like? Well, start to think about lengthening my tailbone all the way down between my heels, drawing my pubic bone all the way up and letting the belly button pull in towards the back of the body. So if you take the hand onto the front and the back of the body, there's a real nice sandwich here, which really makes me feel supported and strong and ready for the pose. You can take your hands to your hip creases and think about sending the hip creases back in a straight line. When you're ready, take an inhale. And as you exhale, those hip creases help you move back in space. Now notice if everything in the front of the body is just flared out and those ribs come in again. Let's see if we can take the hands to the ribs and draw them in. Really nice. Take the hands to the back of the body and can we lessen this arch and lengthen? Great, feeling much stronger now. So the hands are still on the hips here. Final little note is to look and can we see the toes? If the knees are really far forward, can you shift them back? I was still breathing. <laughs> 
keep the hands here if you want or bring them to heart center or you could take the arms up overhead we're going to take two more breaths here together so inhale and exhale can you wiggle the toes more weight into the balls and the heels of the feet inhale and then press to rise up bring the palms together and to heart center now I know why they call this first pose already because just from that one version, I'm already getting quite hot and quite sweaty. But let's just nurture that so we can move into a different stage. If you are finding that you feel very restricted, like you haven't got much space in the hips or there's even any pain, then we can try this option here, which is one of my favorites actually. So feet hip distance apart, about two fists in between the feet. So the feet position changes, but nothing else really does. So let's do that checklist of sticking the bum out, letting the ribs flare, or going the other way. I don't know what the sound effects are about, but they help me. And then think about what does the middle ground look like, that easy medium, lengthen the tailbone, draw the belly button in. So we'll do this version with the arms in the air. You can keep the hands on the hips or hands to heart center. When you're ready, take an inhale, lift the arms up. And as you exhale, picture your sit bones going back. Great stuff. If you want to take the hand to the ribs, check in, flare in, draw in. Take the hand to the back, notice this arch, lengthen. Can you see the toes, aim for it? Can you put more weights? Could you maybe wiggle them because the weight's in the balls? Two more breaths together, inhale. Exhale, one. And last breath, inhale. And come to stand, exhale, two. Thank you so much for joining me today. This video will be here for you so you can revisit it many times. I encourage you to be playful, to have fun, and don't take yourself too seriously. Okay, so now that you're done, I wanna know how you feel. Are your thighs burning? Are you feeling quite strong and powerful? Let me know. I also wanna thank you guys for being here, for sticking through the video and sticking with me. Thank you for your time and your energy. It's been a pleasure. Namaste.